play with some brushes with you tonight. I've been noticing lots of Santa Clauses lately. It is the season, right? Ho ho ho. You see, I got mine on tonight. On fabric. Hopefully you guys are going to paint a Santa as well. Love to see your Santas. I have a student group, a uh, new private VIP group, and the community group. So hopefully you've joined at least one of them. And yeah, if you guys have been painting some Santas, I'd love to see them, share them in the groups for everybody. And um, definitely I have some, some hair uh, issues that people have been sharing with me, trying to paint our Santa gnomes. And I've been seeing some common things going on. Even in the studio here, I've had a few parties here with uh, the Santa gnomes. And they're super, super easy. And then, of course, if you want to jump into ones with faces and eyes and, you know, full features. Um, definitely, I have a couple courses that I want to share with you guys today. If you haven't seen them, if you're new to my page and uh, new to painting or struggling with these particular brushes today, um, if you guys are interested, definitely I'd like to tackle different brushes. Come on and do some, ho some more hot topics with you guys and help you with uh, some of your stroke work. Yes, I saw that. Oh my God, Donna, have you seen this? Oh my God, big, 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 big hugs. Oh my God, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. She was sharing some of my drawing and design ones that I did. And funny enough, I wanted to show you some of them today too. Um, especially my squirrel that I did because I was using the fan and feather brush for that too. And um, so yeah, I'm so, so honored that she picked all my work to showcase uh, while she was sharing, you know, the program with her. Highly, highly, highly recommended. If you guys want to bump up your, just the dimension knowledge, right? It's just playing around with the pencil, something that's not so, um, you know, paint, right? You wait for things to dry and, and work with things. So sometimes we have ideas in our mind and we just gotta get it out. And uh, on drawing, you know, just sketching. It's not really drawing, it's sketching, right? And um, definitely you can get into the drawing a little bit more with all the shading and highlighting and, you know, really helping you see where you're gonna put those shadows in with our one stroke techniques, right? So yeah, I definitely highly, highly, highly suggest you guys jump on any of the certs behind me here. I can definitely help you with uh, a lot of them. Uh, but the drawing and design, definitely you got to take through Donna. And um, But level one, level two, level three with the paste. And oversized, definitely I can help you with you guys with that. If you're interested in that, I've got a really good deal uh, going on for, this is a 24-hour deal with the lives now. Um, so whatever promotions are going on through the video today, definitely it lasts for 24 hours. But I do have a special, special promotion uh, for you guys that is going to last till Christmas Day. So give you a little bit more time to jump on things. But definitely want to bump it up today and give somebody a free project today. So definitely please comment down below. I'll be picking through the comments a winner at the end of my little demo that I do today and uh, share some, some really fun projects that you guys can do to bump up this feather brush and fan brush. So, oh yeah, okay, now we got some going on there. We've got Pat here, Karina, Lisa's here, Deborah's in the house, Miss Sue's, thank you so much for the heads up today because I had to go do groceries today and I lost track of all the lives going on on Donna's group. And um, I had no idea she was doing that today. Of course, I wasn't there to watch it live, but I did check it out later on the replay. And uh, Miss Laura's here, Miss Anne's here, some of my VIPs, and then my Cirque girls, definitely. Um, Anne has been rocking her practice. She just finished her level two. Congrats, Anne. You did an amazing job. And she even tackled the bonus project at the end which was fabulous and you just really did a wonderful job on this and i can't wait to get started with level three with you oh my god it's gonna be so much fun it's always fun right but uh, yeah we got another pat here tonight and miss kathy's here and donna uh i think i got two donnas here uh miss jensen and uh, we got two pats here. Oh my god, thank you so much, guys, for joining me tonight. And we have Miss Laura, and oh my god, yay, yay, and Faye, and 
and uh, who else we got here? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, we're having lots of fun with our certs, and I have two left, guys, on really good promotion. You gotta jump on it now. I only got two level one and level twos left. And I'm gonna give you a choice. So you guys gotta message me and I give you the lowdown on more options. I don't wanna take too much time here. Um, but definitely, you know, I can offer you two different options. I've got my full, 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 full uh, 14 course program plus boot camp, right? So I gotta bump you up all the time. Beginner to advance that uh, definitely if you don't haven't jumped on it already then definitely you know that is highly recommended to get under your belt to help you with with uh, all your stroke works and it's very similar to the skill builders so skill builders is set up a little bit differently definitely and then you get all your certificates with it um, I could make you one of my own Mandy's creative touch certificates if you like can you send me homework from every course um, then definitely um, you know I want to always encourage you guys to practice and that's why we built this new VIP group I want you guys to kind of put down VIP if you're one of my VIPs in the house tonight oh my god I'm so so excited it's starting to grow and I'm going to give you guys one more last chance to jump on that deal I have $245 program and it's packed guys I want to show you guys maybe a little bit more here all right so it covers all of your basic strokes and then into the flowers okay slowly bumping you up a little bit at a time and uh, starting with those 10 basic strokes guys hopefully you guys seen some of my other videos on YouTube that I've done other hot topics on especially that comma stroke we did last time if you missed it you gotta go and check it out guys and um, then jumping into the one stroke leaf and the teardrop and then uh, liner brush study there's so many fun things that you can do with a liner brush today guys it's just so endless and definitely get loosening you up and make helping you dance with that brush and then when you get into those daisies and shell strokes you're really starting to feel more comfortable right and then you're going to get into those wildflowers and bugs all those chisel strokes you know type flowers and lots and lots of little fun things to do in that and then I give you another bonus ribbon project that's free that utilizes all the practice in the first six courses and then of course we did a couple boot camp series which I'm not going to repeat those again because my program's pop guys it's all you know learn on your own time it's so full that I could never really uh, repeat it again uh, the same way it was just so 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 fa uh, awesome footage there that I've kept from the series and now add it into the program now for you so you can have your own boot camp whenever you're ready for it right because I've always got beginners and, and different levels uh, starting with me so definitely this is going to bump you right up and then you're going to be definitely ready for all the pansies, tulips, roses, advanced leaves packed full of different styles of leaves and then there, your poppies of course again bumping you up and then challenge you guys to get those smaller brushes out with the tiny painting and then scroll work is definitely a lot of fun to play with and really advance those techniques that you learned from the daisy stroke and your liner brush study you know bringing them back to hone in on as well with the scrolls and then I put a full color theory and mixing class to uh, play with with those limited palettes you don't have to get all the 30 colors that are available but you can um, but definitely it's teaching you guys how to mix your own colors and understand the difference between cool colors and uh, warm colors and again Miss Donna just did a little pre presentation on on her color theory uh, I've dived into it really deep guys there's a lot more theory that I put into the PDF and verbiage like in typing um, so that you guys can read and have it as well as the video with all the playing with all the color and mixing and stuff like that so like I said this this program is totally totally uh, packed already and then I threw in the bonus five uh, day boot camp number two which again we bumped up everything you learned in here it's not repeated again it's bumped up again definitely played out of our comfort zone and then there's another full painting to do with that as well as, as a bonus at the end of all the practice of the five days so it's really six courses in there and and then like I said the VIP group now I'm going live in we've got some fun things going on um, I'll show you guys down here on my desk view maybe a little bit better right there we played around with a card every once in a while we'll try and do some fun things once a month 
We already did this project here as well with the bottles, fun and easy holiday one. The videos all stay in the group, guys, right? So um, that, you got to be part of that VIP group to get that. All right, so I do not have um, this one here as well. This one, everybody's available uh, to get on my site, guys, if you want to do it uh, downloadable. All right, so we bumped it up again, playing around with a bunch of different types of gradients and um, definitely popping in some, you know, a little bit of advanced stuff in there for you, but mostly all really basically uh, easy, easy strokes. And Sue, I have to give you a little shout out too. You got, yeah, a great idea, because I wanted to do this for my studio paint parties, right? Because this is a lot to do in a couple hours um, for beginners, for me to walk around the room and actually help everybody and do it slowly. So I would definitely was going to do your idea and, and break these down into one canvas at a time. So that way you can focus on just that one canvas. And that was a great idea. She shared it in the group, all of her wonderful paintings that she did from this class. So that's all available still uh, to jump on. If you guys want to bump up your bottles, I got a pattern there for you guys too, because I know not everybody has Donna's uh, stencils that she has. Um, but definitely, I made this a little bit smaller too, so you might want to use my pattern. Um, but yeah, I've got so much, so much exciting news. And yeah, my big oversized rose. All right. Well, it looks really bright. It's not as bright, <laughs> honest. <laughs> but I did play around and created this red, kind of pink, hot pink color here. And it's huge, guys. See, it's the size of my face. <laughs> All right, so that's just like our traditional rose. That is available to jump on to on my site. All right, brand new courses that are just launched this last month with big two inch brushes. All right, so get your big brushes out, guys. Uh, if you don't have them, definitely Donna has them on her site. I have them here for you guys in Canada if you need me to ship them to you. And uh, that was a lot, a lot of fun. That was a request, actually. Somebody noticed one of my paintings I did in 20 minutes and from one of the art battles. So that was like a recreation of that event. And uh, so I was sharing all the experiences of that as well in the video. So you definitely got to jump on that video a little bit more, uh, that course. I did do a little preview for you guys, too. So you saw that, right? Um, hopefully. And I was explaining about the, the big brushes. So that, that's also on my YouTube channel or on my free videos page. I've got a bunch of libraries now that you can jump on different topics, areas. Uh, so definitely, if you guys have ideas for more hot topics, you got to let me know. Comment down below. Let me know which one. Uh, choice of art. Yeah, definitely. The one-stroke ones, uh, brushes are highly, highly recommended. And even with the oversized ones, these are made by Plaid and uh, recommended by Donna. <laughs> and me. And uh, yeah, so it's a lot of fun. I need to retire so I can pay. Yeah, definitely. This is my retirement job. I had to retire from the beauty industry from hand injuries. And um, so, yeah, I'm kind of fortunate that I'm able to play now a little bit more. And, and definitely, you know, the opportunity to teach now is just, you know, I just, like, it's so exciting for me. I just, I'm on such a high that nobody can ever explain. There's no drug in the world that can top this level of adrenaline going through my body after one of these paint parties. Sunday, my biggest party ever in the studio, 15 painters. I was so, so excited. We had five adults, two teenagers, and the rest were all 10-year-olds for a birthday party. It was hilarious. It was so much fun. And uh, it was so nice to see the adults jumping in and painting with the kids too. You know, it was just such an amazing day. And then we did another uh, adult party on Saturday where we painted a bunch of gnomes. And uh, yeah, it's just been a, such a packed weekend. It was so much fun. And so yeah, this is where you know I'm starting to see a little bit more repetitive. I'm hoping that you guys locally in Godridge that are going to my painting party studios are going to see these videos too, so that you can get some osmosis, right? So that way you're getting a little bit of an idea of what we're going to be doing when you come and start tackling some of these projects, all right? So I've got a couple of them that are free on YouTube for you guys, right? So I've got one Santa video there too, and then this is the um, squirrel that I did in the drawing and designs from that surf that Donna was talking about today. 
And uh, so, you know, if you want to jump on my classes, definitely I give you the pattern to get them started for you. I did all the drawing part. You don't have to. And you can still uh, do some of these designs with me through the recordings. All right. So that's definitely one. The Chestnut has Chestnut Haven, not Heaven Haven, because <laughs> there's chestnuts everywhere. Right. So um, definitely that's what inspired me to name them that. And then I definitely played around with the fan brush or the feather brush is a little smaller. So I do play with that definitely for smaller uh, areas. And um, so he's definitely using the feather brush and then the old Santa Claus. Again, his beard's got the, the fan brush. I also have a um, dream catcher one that's on my YouTube or on my site, guys. Um, in that free video library and then again if you guys need the patterns for these I do have the pattern packs some of them you don't need to like the dream catcher I show you some ideas using plates um, to get your circle started for you and uh, but definitely I, I you know all the full supply list is there and there is a pattern there for it if you want and some sheets that I made so definitely jumping on on the uh, pattern packs that go with these free videos on YouTube. I really appreciate all the support you guys are doing it. But definitely the course, the full course video is there for you guys to check out. All right, to see how I'm playing around with these beards, and then also with the pussy willows. The first sign of, of spring is one of my originals that I did in inspired by my youth because up north where I'm from up in northern Canada definitely we used to grow up uh, with these coming up and playing with them and rubbing them against our skin and putting them in vases and stuff like that in the springtime so definitely those are all free for you guys to check out uh, links are all on my site or on my page you can see in the about area and um, definitely if you need the patterns they are there available for you and then on site member access or downloadable definitely i bumped up the santa again you guys are interested in learning how to draw i give you a lot of insight on how to draw him out and definitely so he's a draw and paint course and um then you also see with a fun and easy uh oasis that we did here with the palm trees again using more fan and feather brushes and then the t-shirt that I'm wearing today, right? So I did use that as well, even on fabric, guys. So again, all this extra practice for you guys to play with your fan and feather brush. This is what I wanted to feature today is all my courses that I have available um, for that type of brush work, right? And then my teddy bear collection, which is going to be a big feature on sale all January long. These guys are so cute to paint up for kids' bedrooms or wherever you want to put them. I, pl I played around with a little bit of paste and some stencils for the background. So you guys that have your paste now, um, definitely you can use any stencil you want to try to give it a little bit more texture to that background. And then I've got patterns for both Blossom and Teddy Bear Love in there for you. So, you know, you can do one or both. And it's like a two-in-one course. All right. And then Santa Knows we just did. And it's actually, you guys that took it with me on Zoom, remember, it's still there on Zoom for you guys to download. If you haven't done it yet, you're going to have to do it soon because by t December 25th, he's going to be gone. All right, so this was just a, a special feature, fun and easy projects that I'm going to be doing more of. They're just going to be staying on Zoom, and that's it for a couple weeks. And they're going to be really fun and easy and really affordable, cheap $15 little um, projects for you guys that um, you can jump on, right? And then, of course, I'll always still have something a little bit more advanced on Zoom that you can download and keep. All right, so again, hopefully you guys are going to jump on this oversized roses that I've got going on. And then if you need more help, guys, definitely jump on my full program. It's pack, pack, pack. I can guarantee you that you're going to love it. Plus now my VIPs save 50% off all these projects that you're seeing here today. They can jump on when they're ready and save 50% on them anytime. All right, they get the VIP treatment. And then any new classes that come along, even the $15 ones that I have, they're going to still save 50% off of, right? So you're safe, 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 um, even after the program is bought. And when you're part of our new VIP group, you're going to be getting more bonus little freebies from me throughout the month as well, where I'm going to be coming on live just in that group. 
All right, guys. So definitely I'm here for you guys. If you want to jump on your certs, level one, level two, skill builders, my beginner program, right? Um, definitely it's a wonderful way to, to push yourself out of your comfort zone. Again, they're a little bit different than mine. And um, definitely it's the official Donna DuBerry's uh, certification programs. And then I meet you on Zoom to help you with all the projects, right? And help you with all the... Uh, this layout and the projects we do them all together all right guys and then of course new level three right so i'm currently actually redoing these these were all done with the old pier line but i've got the first three done anyways and uh next week i'm going to be working on the fourth and, and getting the fifth one done i've got uh, two girls starting with me now with the level three and i'm so 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 excited to offer this as well so yeah, I'm just really, really excited about all the new stuff that's going on. I want to kind of show you all that first, get that out of the way, and then hang on with me to the end. And I'll definitely, like, you know, kind of remind you about the specials that are going on and what's available today exactly. And then if anybody's interested in any of these things, definitely, if you want to receive 50% off any of these projects that I've been showing you today. So I'm just going to give you a little quick recap. What you got to do is comment down below and let me know that you want that particular project. Okay, so if you want the pattern packs for uh, <laughs> got all these names in my brain now. <laughs> Chestnut Haven. Okay, you just put Chestnut Haven and yes, you want that pattern pack and then I'll private message you to get your email. All right, and then if you want Santa Claus, say Santa Claus. If you want the Dreamcatcher, say Dreamcatcher. If you want the first sign of spring, okay, get the idea now. And then just comment below which one you want at 50% off for this 24-hour period from this live. Otherwise, I do have another promotion that's going on for you guys till Christmas if you miss it. All right, and then, of course, again, let me just remind you, Palm Tree Oasis, Old Saint Nick, okay, I, may, I named him a bit differently, or Santa on Fabric, or Teddy Bear Love, okay, so they're all 50% off right now for the next 24 hours, Oversized Roses, yes, that too, guys, you're getting VIP pricing for 24 hours, okay, and then I have a special, special, special program for my search. So you guys got to message me for that, and I'll tell you more all about that. Sound like fun? I still got this big brush in my hand. <laughs> all right, but we should be playing around with some feather brushes. Let's see what you guys are saying. Hello, hello from Minnesota. Hey, Gail, how are you? Nice for you guys to come. Sharing my stuff on your crazy for one stroke group. Thank you so much. Who else? Do we have anybody else new here? Yes, Miss Dorothy. And Janet Tuck. Hello, hello. And Clara. And who else do we got here? Anybody else new? Mr. Greg. Hello, hello. Nice for you to come. Hopefully, you're feeling better. We got to get working on your level one. Yes, so yes, I got two spots left for super super first first two people that jump on one and two are gonna get a super 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 special. Alright, so definitely message me for that. Alright guys. Okay, so I've got a bunch of feather brushes and if you've seen my painting hacks, yes I've made some. I'm a little bit crazy sometimes, right? I've been in a pinch, I've wanted some a little bit smaller, different sizes, and I actually even made one out of an angle brush. So you guys gotta go check out my painting hacks and I'll show you how I cut them all. Alright, but Donna has some great ones. There's one in her signature set and this is the one that's available individually that you can get and it's really nice and straight and square so you can actually do some one stroke techniques with it. All right, so this one here I got from her old, old, old pro set, and I've used it so much, and I might have even trimmed it a little bit through the years just because maybe it started to wear off. I don't know if I used it a lot on wood, but it's been definitely used a lot, and it's now rounded on me. So sometimes I do want a really nice square one, 
And sometimes I want a, a nice or softer fat one. So if you do have a couple of these, don't be afraid to trim them. It's the hairdresser in me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a retired, retired hairdresser. So even my mom will tell you that we used to have a Diefenbachy plant in the house, and I gave it a haircut, and it was just sticks left over because I just felt like I needed a haircut. I don't know why. I, I guess I've seen her trimming some plants. and So I've always had this bug in me for cutting things. <laughs> and um, I wonder if she's seeing this tonight. <laughs> Anyways, um, definitely, you know, like there's a lot of different options, and they're going to give you a lot of different looks, right? Especially if you make your own. And then sometimes I've been in tight places where I just wanted this little smaller one. So I've had brushes for a long time. A lot of them got wrecked. And definitely they've lost their chisel, right? But you know, you're not going to do this to a new brush. And if you're getting great work out of it, then that's wonderful. But you can see this one's very, very wonky. It's starting to separate a little bit in the middle. It's got all kinds of fray hairs. It's got splits on the edges. It's definitely seen its day. I've done a lot of base coating on wood with it. It's definitely beat up. So, you know, these are the brushes that I'll definitely cut sometimes and texturize them and uh, make my own but definitely you know the way they're formulated here is wonderful because they do have the different thicknesses through here that's made for you right and then the fan brush definitely it's got its advantages especially when you're doing palm trees and and different things like that and i but most of the time like i said this is probably only for palm trees or maybe a lot of grassy strokes or you know we're making some of my landscapes i've used them a little bit in right so it definitely will give you a bigger area to to play with when you have if you're doing an oversized you definitely want to use something a little bit bigger but nine times out of ten guys i definitely just go for my feather brush all right so what i'm seeing the most problem is is definitely um how to use them right because if you go right into some thick paint and try to use it especially on certain surfaces you know so you get you won't be able to drag that brush down low right you got to put a lot a lot a lot of paint and you still then you start getting too much coverage by the time you get that wispiness if you want like a dry effect i guess yes then you know it does kind of give it to you but you can see that there's no movement in that paint when it comes right out of our bottle right so just like our curly cues guys we got to put water in it so that's one dip in the water right so my brush is way overloaded and if i go and try and do it i'm getting that right so i always have a piece of paper by me when i'm doing my projects so i can use it a couple times and you'll see as i'm working it right now it's starting to get to the right hair like consistency Right, so look how much paint I had to get rid of before it started giving me the hairs. Right, so when we're mixing water in it, guys, remember that you really got to blot out that paint a little bit and then just come in and gently pick up on the edge. Then you're going to get all those little hair strokes. Right, so again, I'm pulling in a little bit more thicker paint from my bubble and then I'm pulling it into the watery stuff. Right. So sometimes I'll get different consistencies. I got the moisture in my brush, and then I'm picking up a thicker little glob at the tip. All right, so it's giving me a little bit heavier coverage. All right, so it really just depends on how far you need that brush to slide. So if you really want that brush to slide a long way, you gotta add more water. All right, the thinner the lines, the more water but then again you got to be really careful that you don't put too much water because then it'll be too translucent and then when it dries you won't get your coverage does that kind of make sense for you guys that might be having problems with your feather brush oh you're intimidated by the rose it's just like the little ones just with a big brush i promise i didn't do oversized uh, techniques with wet on wet I used all t traditional one stroke techniques with that big two inch brush. All right, just on a bigger level, guys. And then some more tricks in there how to shade and highlight it and bump it up.
Did I find you? Yes, you found me. <laughs> Are you a newbie, Clara? Yeah, welcome, welcome. One stroke is so, so much fun. You can highlight your brush. You know, we can definitely multi-load our brush with our fan brush the same way, right, that we do with our regular brushes when we're doing our techniques and this way you're getting the depth and the highlights all at the same time too then i'll flip the brush around and do some in the other direction especially when it comes to beards right you're going to play around with your direction but see in this little gradient pile it's with some thick paint right so i definitely go over and i got to be very very careful not to put too much paint in my brush so hopefully you guys can see that I'm just touching the tip of my brush, just to say I'm touching the water. Come over here, maybe dab some over here, just to unload some of that water, just to make sure that I'm not getting too, too translucent. All right, so you can see that you can get your multi-load two colors at the same time. Right, so again, just that littlest tiny bit. And if your plate is sitting on the table, these palettes are wonderful. Sometimes I'll scoop a little bit of water and I'll put it in my little uh, dusty side things that I hardly ever use um, because my brush, my palette's always in the air flying around. So if I put too much liquid in there, then it definitely. Um, Right, so it's all about playing with it, guys, you know, and then when you're doing hair, you're, you know, you're changing the direction and playing, you know, layering on top of it, right? I'll do a little demo for you guys, okay? How's that sound? On beards. Give you some ideas. Donna highlighted your beautiful work. Yes, I'm so, so excited about that. Thank you, uh, Greg, you saw that? Yeah, those were, and like I said, all that, the pansy guys, uh, my VIPs jumped on, uh, that I gave as a little bonus there, that's from the drawing and design, yeah. Trim, 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 <laughs> I'm just reading back, when is the next beginner class? They are all on my my site to watch, start watching the videos whenever you like, Claire. You can start watching those videos tonight. Uh, definitely, it, that's what I pre-recorded everything and it's all there for you. So then that way I don't have to worry about um, mixing up all the classes for different levels, right? Because I have a lot of different uh, painters that have been with me that are a little bit more advanced now. So I've got new people coming all the time. So instead of waiting for another series to start, definitely they, they are all on my site and all with printable PDFs with all the sheets that you can print out. And everything is all on the video I explain. Yeah, so who's my VIPs here? I don't see very many VIP. Put a VIP in the comments if you're a VIP. <laughs> I want to see who's all my VIPs here today. Who wants to be a VIP? If you want to be a VIP, then you put that down in the comments and I will definitely private message you. <laughs> There's my VIP. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so yeah, definitely um, since Santa gnomes and um, get rid of this water here a little bit. You guys rather see my plate. Okay, so m most people, you know, if you put your eyes, can you guys see this? Maybe I'll have to use a pencil. Most people, okay, just for a quick um, feature, right? You got your nose and your eyes, and then your mouth is a little bit lower than your nose, right? So it's usually like a triangle, like almost like a Y, right? So you, most guys, you know, you have that smile going on, <laughs> right? So usually with the mustaches, they're somewhere, you know, definitely up underneath the nose, 
and you can draw them where they're coming down, right? You can add a little bit more fatness and then a little bit of a point, right? So this would be all his mustache. And then you can give him like a real long handlebar kind of style if you want, right? So right in here is the chin usually, right? So usually the hair bumps over the chin and the jawline. Right, so this is where I always go in this direction on the way out, right? And then start straightening out so that the hairs are a little bit more straight in the middle, right? So you can have those bump over his over the jaw. So if you have this little bit of feature going on with the face, right? And then it, this can kind of go off into this direction. Right, so then that way you're kind of changing the direction of your strokes and it kind of separates those two areas. And then of course you can always add a little bit more shading in there, right? And then depending on how big the beard is, you know, definitely usually comes down all in this kind of direction towards each other, not straight down, right? So I see some people, and then some people like to really do everything all like two sideways, right? So if you want, you can do a couple curls, but then you want to go, you want to have one curl go this way, you want to curl this way, you know, you're going to play around with the illusion around the side of the beard so then it looks a little bit more softer, right? So you're doing, these are your long strokes that you're doing like J's in different directions on the outside. And then again, you're playing around with mostly everything coming, curling around towards the middle. Does that kind of make sense for building hair because I'm like I said I, I'm a retired hairdresser I used to be a bartender and believe me I've done my share of mustache and beards in my time and so I've really you know got a little good understanding of hair placement and what you know how the hair grows growth patterns um, so maybe that's why again a lot of people have commented on my hair always looking really realistic like I've done in a lot of um, pet portraits as well and again it's almost the same thing with pets right so depending on if they have short hair long hair curly hair um, you're going to play around with those strokes being a little bit you know a little bit shorter right and then I, I layer I usually start it's best to start at the bottom and then slowly kind of brick layering yourself right you're going to alternate with some grays and then some whites, hopefully you guys can see all that, all right? So when, especially when you're layering with um, like short, short hair, right? Let me put that a little darker, all right? So you got it gray. And then when you're doing short little strokes, right? Change the direction maybe a little bit. Do this one this way, make them look a little bigger. Right, so you've got some different movement going on in there if you really want it short, short, but then you don't need too much water in there because they're short little strokes, right? And then multi loading really helps give you that wispiness. But if you're only playing around with one color, guys, then you got to make sure that you know you've got it loaded properly with enough moisture. And then also it helps that if you have it base coated, like in our um, projects, a lot of times we'll get you to make it easy for you. You know, we're definitely going to base coat this and then you'll be able to get those hair strokes on really easy, right? So again, sometimes even just playing around with, you know, this brush, you'll start to get the movement and the shape and the feel of that beard that you want to do. All right, so just getting that dark color in there. All right, that's what we did with our Santa gnomes. All right. And then he had a big bubble nose. <laughs> All right, so just kind of give you a little bit of all right, so now I'm going to come in. And again, test it. Make sure you're happy with it before you uh, start touching down, right? 
So definitely you want to come in and start adding some hair strokes, right? So you can play around. This was a one color, right? Or you can multi-load, right? Put a little bit of gray in there. And then you'll have a little bit softer gray. Right? So it depends on the color that you want to do. If you're too white, you can definitely put in that gray again, one color at a time. Right? This helps if you have something in the background for depth. Right? And then right underneath the mouth, you don't have to go right up. You actually want to keep some of this gray undertone. So you're coming around and then around. Right? And a little bit straighter. So having that little bit of shading already there, right? You don't go all the way up. Right? Then you can start working away on your sides. All right, curl a little bit under. Again, I like to go right from the very bottom. All right, work my way up from some real smooth strokes. All right, and then you can slowly layer on top of it in a different direction, All right, to give it some different looks, curl on top of each other a little bit. All right. So you want to keep some of that gray tones through there. Then you can come and lengthen these a little bit more. So they're kind of layering on top of the base of your stroke underneath it. You see that? So I just kind of layer that over. And that's just all with one color. I did play around here. I put some browns on there too. All right, so say you wanted to do like different elves or gnomes that are not old men, right? So you can even play around with his mustache and curl it. Oh! <laughs> Right, give them a nice. Right, so you're playing around with your base coat to get that shape in there. Right, but maybe he has just a smaller little beard. And always get your base coat in there. Alright, so if you're just going to put a couple flicks, if you put too many flicks coming out, then it starts to look unrealistic. So you want to have some that are coming around, and then some coming up around, some coming up. Alright. Kind of playing with that illusion. Then when you come, again, depending on how goldy or brown they give you once, a little bit more, uh, you know, reddish blonde, you know, you can definitely play around with, I'm wiping out my brush, now I'm picking up just a bit. So again, depending on the tones, right, you don't see that too much, but sometimes it's nice to have um, different tones, right, so you're going to play around very lightly with some goldy tones. Right, so this could be even hair, this could, you know, we've been playing around doing some of our angels. You know, some people have been trying to do um, some different designs, just having with girls in it or whatever, right? Hair, animals, feathers, I mean, anything you want, guys, right? It's just being able to layer some of those colors. Right, so you definitely want to have it sometimes three different colors, like a really dark, and then a medium, and then a light. 
right? So if this is not light enough, I can always lighten this up with a little bit more white. Right, get that light beigey, beigey blonde color. Right, so if you're doing like a blonde, right, you're gonna be able to really get that look. So I'm still kind of trying to copy that same look, but I'm very light touch. Right, so I'm coming under his chin area. Right, so you always want to have that little area here. Right, a little bit too light. I don't worry about it too much. I can always pop in that dark again if I'm not happy with it. And then I can just keep going. Right, so you don't want to go as heavy because you still want to see the brown, you still want to see that gold. Right. I'm going to copy that same kind of movement. And then if I really want to highlight it a little bit more, then I can grab just that little bit of white. And then again, you're going to be very selective when you touch down. I think I put a little bit of water in there. I'm making some dirty white. All right, and then sometimes I'll only touch down in the middle, right? So I still see that beige, right? Just trying to highlight just that tip, right? So there's nothing behind it. So that one kind of looks like it's got no depth to it, right? So we just want to highlight see right in the middle of a stroke. Just a little bit. Alright. It gives you a little bit more brownie colors. Alright, maybe too white. Then maybe I will have to go over and add some more gold tones in there if you feel like you want to. Alright, so I also do some glazing tricks and all kinds of different um, ways to bump up this hair, right, letting it dry, and uh, definitely I show you that all through my courses, guys, if you want to learn a lot more how to do it um, in different stages of building up these layers, right, so I'm trying to use it on a chisel too sometimes if I'm in a small area. Right. And then when this is dry, you can always oops, put um, a little bit of shading in there, right? I'm trying to build my chin. And this is where it's good that I'm kind of messing up here because then it shows you how I'm going to get out of trouble. All right. And dry this a little bit. strong brown again and just kind of put some depth back in under that mustache All right so under here needs to be a little darker All right, so your mustache will stand out lighter on top of it this is a very tiny mouse <laughs> So not enough moisture in there. It's definitely going to be a little bit more skimpy looking. This is dry now, right? It's not going into that wet on wet. So play around with it, guys. You're going to see that definitely when it's dry now, it's going to sit on top of the other colors a little bit easier. And if you don't like it, then you can always erase stuff. So I want this to go this way. All right. 
<laughs> so there's two different mustache styles for you. <laughs> All right. Again, I have taken my flat brush or an angle brush with a little bit of floating medium. When you're doing shading or floating strokes long ways, um, definitely the creaminess of the floating medium is going to be different than water, right? We definitely have its purposes for water, and um, the other times when we're doing stroke work or a little bit of side loading like this with some shading, if I wanted to come in and add a little bit more depth underneath my mustache, Right, I can always come in and add a wash of gray. And if I felt like my whole mustache was just way too light, not enough tone, again, just that glazing trick of lots and lots of floating medium. Right. Lots of floating medium. How dark do you want it to be? Right? So lots of floating medium. It'll just kind of dirty that white down. And I have. I've done like a whole glaze and I paint right over it. As long as this is dry, you can add more depth to your facial hair and soften it a little bit with a little bit of a glaze. Okay. If this is too goldy, I can definitely go over and grab some floating medium, grab some coffee latte. A little bit more floating medium. All right, because coffee latte is a little bit cooler where the yellow ochre is very warm. All right. So as long as this is dry, I can put a wash of color. You can use glazing mediums or blending gel or floating medium, whatever you like. Now you see how that just softened the whole look after? Depending on what kind of look you have. <laughs> Give them a nose. <laughs> All right, so again, sh a little shorter strokes on this one, a little bit more straighter and longer, but they still have some movement to them. And you still see that depth. All right, you can always come back over it, add a few more you know, brighter color, uh, strokes on top of your glaze, All right? I got dirty, beigey white going on now. But again, if you can always go back and, and highlight just certain areas now. Okay, need more water in there. That didn't do anything. Alright. That's very, 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 very light. Try and find a clean spot on my plate. Right. Very, very light. Now we have like three different, four different colors of gray. Right. Kind of go a little slower sometimes to allow that uh, paint to kind of absorb too, because I'm going really, really quick. I'm feeling really confident. But definitely, sometimes the, the trick is too is slowing down because I so I catch myself all the time too, and uh, I gotta slow down so that I can let that paint absorb. All right. What do you think of my mustache, guys? <laughs> Does that help you a little bit more? So, like I said, don't be shy to jump on these programs, guys. They're definitely very slow based. There's lots of step outs there, picture process of how I built them one step at a time. 
right? A little bit more, a little bit more. And um, patterns there as well for all the shapes if you want. Right? And of course, if you had hair. Right? You can always, you know, the illusion of his hair. Right? So try to scoop those hairs in a little bit differently. Right? So his hair is going to come around his head. And then it's going to go off into a different direction. Right? So you wouldn't want to have a lot of hair going down in the same direction as his mustache. So you're going to want to separate those a little bit differently, right? And then have the same kind of trick where you're got to have some depth and de shading in those areas so that it dif differentiates the different areas from his actual hair and his mustache and then his beard. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I just wanted to share. Like I said, 90% of the time uh, I use my feather brush because I have more control over it. But definitely if you're doing, you know, different styles or different huge, huge uh, areas or you want to play around with your brush in certain ways, right? So I'm multi-loading my fan brush here. Right, and adding some drips of water into the blending pile. Right, then I gotta take some off a little bit. And then, you know, you're definitely gonna get bigger areas of painting done, right? So if you're doing a huge, huge Santa, then definitely, yeah, I would. Um, you know, test it, see how the translucent is. Then I thought, well, I better add some uh, more thick paint to it a little at a time. Right, but the nice thing is that if, oh, I have an area I want a little bit darker, I can tip over with my big brush. Right, then I can use tip over and just use that part. I can touch down right in the middle kind of wrecking my mustache here now. All right, so you can get, uh, have fun with the, the bigger brush too, All right? But I definitely would do it a little bit differently where I'm playing with uh, both sides. See how I'm touching down? Right, and then softening it. But it's really hard to get into those small little areas. And if you're doing little eyebrows and stuff like that. Um, so that's why I decided to try and create my own <laughs> little fan brush. <laughs> Or horsetail, yes. Or squirrel tails. All right? Let's see if I can get this bigger for you. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Make him nice and big. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with his tail. And uh, even the Pussy Willows, a lot of fun with that too. A lot of variety here for you guys to keep playing around in different ways. And like I said, this is all 30% off till Christmas. All my programs. You can jump on my, any of the five flower series or the fruit or anything is all 30% off in the site member access guys so if you go into my site there is definitely um, two areas either the downloadables only Let's see if I can get this up here 
Come on. Way up. There we go. In the uh, online course library here, this 30% off is for site member access only. So this sale is not in the downloadables. So you gotta jump on the project library. If you're new to my site, you're gonna, they'll force you to sign up. Then you gotta log in, and then you'll be able to click on any of these courses to ignite the cart to show you the information on, on jumping on this program. All right, and then you come back and the same link will open to you again for the videos and the PDFs. And then you can download them from there if you really want to save them on your site. But a lot of people have a hard time with all the memory that goes on after a while with all these videos. And um, so you don't have to download them. You got site member access here for all of these courses to choose from. Some of them are two days, some of them are shorter ones, some of them are a little more advanced. Um, so definitely go through the big list here. They're all 30% off. But the ones that I'm showcasing tonight for 50% off are the site member access, anything that goes with the feather brush or fan brush. Okay, so these are the four here and this four here. So I've got eight courses here that are available for 50% off for the next 24 hours. Uh, oh, sorry, I got nine. Well, let's count the oversized rows. If you want that, it's uh, like a two-day class. It's 45. And um, you can get that for 50% off. Got to get back here. Last time I started talking and then I forgot to put myself back. <laughs> so yes, I'm here. Oh, yes, I'm here. Yeah, a lot of fun and how to learn how to do acorns, a bunch of different leaves, uh, layering some cool colors and warm colors. I pulled up every single green I owned for that project just to play with. Uh, but definitely you can create so many different gray tones or warmer tones of greens and play with that too. Yeah, the fruit. Sure, for sure. I can message you more information about that. And definitely VIP press, VIP pricing. Everybody's going to get for this um, ultimate package deal. If you want 50% off on that right now, you got to message me or comment below. And then, yeah, you can get your VIP discount code. You can use anytime you want once you're in our group. <laughs> You've never tried hair or beard before, Laura? Well, hopefully I've uh, inspired you. Like I said, the uh, Santa Gnome is really super easy. It's still on my Zoom channel, okay? So I, this is not going to be found on my site or YouTube or anywhere. This is only a special deal that I did for you guys for a Zoom class, and it's still there. So if you want to watch it or download it, it's only $15. You don't need a PDF pack with it. The supply list is so basic. It's just apple, red, white, black. Make your own gray. A little bit of uh, yellow ochre, some glitter, and um, white, of course. Did I say white and black? Um, yeah, so it's very basic. And then, of course, your size 12 brush and a liner brush and your and feather brush. All right, so it's very, very, very easy. It's a great deal to get started with, and I show you very easily how to draw them out too. You don't need a pattern, all right? Just all with triangles and circles, and uh, very, very basic sketch. He's a gnome. He doesn't have any legs. You don't have to worry about everything being perfect. <laughs> He's like a cartoon figure, right? So they're all gonna look whimsical and, and cute in their own way. <laughs> You don't know what you're doing wrong. You can also meet me on Zoom anytime, private guys, okay? Part of my deal for the VIPs. And definitely for anybody that's new for the first time, I'd love to meet you. We can do a, a Zoom chat and I can show you maybe a little bit more. Uh, we can chat more personally one-on-one -on, -one on Zoom, okay, Clara? I'll message you, okay? 
So I'm going to go through my list here. I'm going to use my phone this time because I'm not sure if the computer is 100%. Who wants to win a Santa on fabric? One lucky person here today is going to win that project. Let's see if I can find myself here. Is it going to do it? 100%. Who wants to win? <laughs> Let's see, can I go all the way back to the... Oh, maybe it was the phone that was messing up. Let's see, can I get to the top? Oops. Where are you? There you are. Okay, yes, there. Now my wheel is moving. Awesome, awesome. Okay, where's my top? Where's my bottom? I wish I had an iPhone. I think that little clicky thing that Amanda uses to click the winner. Oh, Brenda's here. Hey, Brenda. I didn't see you earlier. And Cecilia's here. There was a few of you that popped on that I didn't get to see. Jeanette. Hello, hello. Who else did I miss here? Patricia! Hey, Patricia! I haven't seen you in so long, girl. Gotta meet me on Zoom where I gotta, gotta chat. See how I can help you with anything. Like I said, everybody that's a VIP, you can just have to message me and we'll meet on Zoom anytime through the program. Or I'll do a special hot topic in the VIP group here for you guys too so you guys got to start commenting on what you're struggling with and then i can come in and help everybody because uh, it's so common a lot of your questions so definitely that's what the vip group is all about too is for me to come on live there for you all a little bit more right so i always got lots of tricks and tips up my sleeve guys different ways of doing things and um trying different ways of good different color combinations Okay, let's see. Closing my eyes now. Who's gonna win a Santa on fabric? Where are we? Brenda Ellis! Congratulations! I'm gonna comment or message you and tell you how you can get that free. I know I'm a little bumblehead. I think doesn't the holidays do that to you? <laughs> Too much on the go. I am so, so excited. I've got lots of commissions on the go. I've been asked to paint a few things. I've got a jewelry box on the go. And I painted a little mug on a lighthouse um, that I can't really show yet. Some of the commissions I've been doing for Christmas presents. But after the holidays, I'll be able to show you guys pictures of some of the stuff I've been doing for Christmas presents. And I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight and being a part of my page Share my page, follow my page, join me over on YouTube to like and um, subscribe there as well. And make sure you see all those playlists, guys. I've got over 100 videos there now on YouTube that you could check out. And uh, happy, happy, happy holidays. And for you guys that want to join me after Boxing Day, I am going to be doing another meet and greet on Zoom. And that's free. So you can get on my uh, events calendar and get the zoom code there and uh, my vips know all my codes so definitely they can all join us there and uh but if you're new to and want to come and you know have us some fun stroke practice with us uh definitely we're going to be meeting on the last tuesday of every month okay so all the information is on my site guys the link is there if you have any questions at all please never have hesitate to reach out and message me okay Merry, 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 Merry Christmas to everybody and all over the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you.